Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary of Sword Art Online, Alicization, but today we're going to be checking out episodes 16 through 19. It has been way too long since I saw the last set of four episodes, sorry about that guys. February was a very strange month, bit of a long story there. But when it comes to the last set of four episodes, it was a pretty good set, had some really well animated action shots, you know, especially when they fought that Fire Knight guy. I mean, it was pretty, pretty well done. But naturally what stood out most was their encounter with those, uh, those two young knights. You know, the ones, the ones who at first tried to present themselves as harmless. They were just maids or whatever. And then second they got the chance, bam, stabbed in the stomach. Despite the fact that it should have been painfully obvious that was what was going to happen, it shocked both me and the two of them. Well, I mean, it didn't necessarily shock Kirito because Old Kirito, he was ready for it. He set up a quick little spell beforehand so that the poisoning effect would wear off and then he could break free, but... Really, I do have to wonder, if he saw it coming enough to set up the spell, why didn't he just stop them? But those two... were creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> I mean, just the... just the two little kids running up and stabbing people. It's creepy enough, but... when we learned their backstory, it just made it even worse because... Turns out they were part of some experiment where they were just, uh, just, they just put a bunch of kids in one spot and had them try to kill each other over and over and over again. And then they would just resurrect them each time. The idea was that they would just have to keep doing that over and over until they got the resurrections down to a science, I guess. And these two seemingly were the only ones who survived that arduous process. Everybody else just died too many times and never got to come back. Pretty gruesome. So yeah, they didn't get to actually be a threat for too long. I mean, there was a, a bit of a moment there where they were worried because they were poisoned and paralyzed for a bit, but now they're back on their feet. They're in the middle of another fight with this uh, mirror knight, as I like to call them. And they're just shooting deadly freaking sun lasers everywhere, so they ain't too bad either. But hey, no need for a very in-depth analysis. You all remember what happened last time, right? Right, but before we get started, let me just say one thing. Forgive the hair. It's grown like crazy the past couple months, and I can no longer control it. It controls me now. But that fact aside, let's just begin episode 16. It's been a long time coming. Well, that was highly provocative, wasn't it? I mean... Wow. The, the manipulation level there was insane. Like, she was just whispering in the noise ear, giving him all those false memories, telling him all the people in his life who loved him either just straight up didn't love him, or, oh no, they didn't love you exclusively, therefore their love doesn't count. Which, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't it, man. Ah, he finished saying the sentence though, man, he's screwed. By both meanings of the word. Nah, she's gonna pull the rug out from under him and take his brain out and then replace all the memories. He's not even gonna get to do anything. Gosh, some of these episodes, uh, in these four are pretty, uh, exposition-y, but, uh, definitely some key important moments in there for sure. Like right at the end of this episode especially, the, the tension was actually pretty fierce. And I like that she tried to warn him. I, I couldn't even imagine just where that was gonna go and she's like, run Yu-Gi-Oh, run. And he should have done it, man. Either that or just gone for the, the quick stab, but he wasn't gonna do that. He was uh, too hesitant thinking we needed to, they needed to use it for Alice. But at this point, they don't even actually need it. I mean, not right now anyway. They're gonna need to get her memories back eventually, but no, no, no. Kirito had to had to waste his on that on that girl, and she ended up getting taken in to be healed anyway. So it didn't really do any good. Maybe she'll come back later and be helpful after she's recovered, but I'm sure they aren't just gonna have him do that for nothing. But if he were to use that knife now, if they couldn't get another one, then her memories would be sealed away forever, right? And that wouldn't be good. But they've set the stage, man. They've set the stage here. Alice was fully willing to listen to her old memories and is just accepting them at this point. She doesn't remember any of it because it's all sealed away, but 
Apparently, just enough of it was able to slip through that when she heard, you know, the name of her sister, that just convinced her right away. And she was just straight up willing to defy <laughs> the will of the gods here. And then her eye exploded, so... No depth perception until they can get that one healed up. And just so I can get this out there, I feel like I have to talk about it for some reason. What's his name? The little fat clown guy. He's the perfect example of a character created specifically so that you can hate him. You love to hate him. He's just a bouncy little beach ball weirdo who you just gotta project all of your negative feelings into. That's the idea. And the administrator, man, she really is a master of manipulation. Just exactly what you would expect of someone of her status, you know? I mean, she's just been trying to puppeteer this whole world to her will this whole time, so naturally, she should be pretty weaselly. And her twisted perception of love is quite gross. And what was that that happened earlier where like the escort ship kinda uh, went off course on its merry way? They seemed concerned about that, at least that, that one guy seemed to be, so. I'm not sure that was supposed to happen, but it happening, I've got no idea what that could mean. <laughs> Honestly. Never a good thing. Hmm, at this point now though, the conflict would probably just be that... Well, if Yujiro does surrender his mind and himself to her... That would be bad because... Well, there's nobody else <laughs> standing in their way of getting up to the top now. Because, well, Alice has turned uh, to Kirito's side. And the other dude got frozen solid. The only one who could stand in their way would be Yujio, which would obviously be a major point of conflict. If she turns him into an integrity knight, that would be bad. Also, apparently she has to like weasel them into getting rid of their own safeguards on their brains, which I'm, I'm sure she goes about uh, Manipulating people in lots of different ways, you know, she picks up whatever their insecurities might be and in Yujiro's case Apparently it was uh, not feeling loved but Yeah, we're definitely entering the final stretch here episodes 20 through 24 Will be the last of them and that will be the perfect time to do that five episode Video that I have owed them since nearly the beginning I mean, it's my last shot at it <laughs> at that point so whether I wanted to or not, I'd have to do it. Although at this point, I kind of want to. Just get it all finished in one go before we move on to the next thing. Help make up for the delay <laughs> that this one has had. But uh, if I can keep things going at a consistent pace here, I can have the next one out before too long. I mean, if all, if all can go according to plan by some grand miracle, it'll be out this month. And hey, it was a pretty good set of four. Like I said, maybe a bit exposition-y. There were still some definite highlights here. They're definitely flushing everything out, progressing everything towards where we need to be with these final set of five. Alice has joined up with Kirito, despite the fact that she doesn't have her memories, and honestly, it was pretty moving, you know? Her hearing about her family, and even though she has no memory of them, just knowing that she has a family moved her to the point where she was willing to just give up her consciousness and go back to her old life. With the only consolation being that she wants to at least be close enough to them to you know, just look in their direction. Because yeah, she would just have to accept that as she is now, she'd be gone. She would still live on as her old self, but the integrity knight that is her would disappear. Rather moving, but anyway, for now, I think that's going to be it, guys. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more. That would be great. Next time, as I've been saying a million times, will be episodes 20 through 24. The final set of five, it's gonna be awesome. We'll see just what else this administrator is capable of. I mean, we've already seen some pretty messed up, twisted manipulation from her that was highly uncomfortable, so we'll see just what else she can do, huh? But hey, that's gonna be it, guys, so I hope we can reunite again as soon as possible, but until we do, I will see you guys all later!